when we, uh, on our press release, we said that the event was bipartisan. And in the spirit of that, we offer, um, welcome Evan McMullen, president of Stand Up Republic. Good morning. It's great to see you all here today. It's great to be here with you. I thank you, Reggie. I thank Reggie for that introduction and for all those uh, who took a part in having me here today. We stand here under this December sun, not just as Democrats, not just as Republicans, and not just as independents, but united as Americans. As Americans who seek truth, as Americans who uphold the rule of law, as Americans who defend the Constitution, and as Americans who demand that our leaders are accountable to us and to no one else. Today our nation is at risk. Our president wants to be a dictator. He wants to break down all the checks on his power. He wants, to give, he wants us to give up on truth so that we cannot hold him accountable. He wants us to be so divided that we will not even rise in the defense of our own basic rights. He wants foreign powers to help him steal yet another election. And if we don't stand up now, that is exactly what he'll do. First it was Russia, then Ukraine, now China too. He cares more about getting the illegal support of foreign powers than he does about winning the support of Americans across the country. And if he succeeds, liberty and justice across this land will perish. So the stakes for our democracy could not be higher. The facts are clear. The president abused his immense power to pressure a foreign country to attack his political rival. He then abused his power again to cover up that crime and to block the investigation of Congress. That is illegal. And this is a criminal presidency. We and our representatives in Congress must act, which is why we're here today. It's about time for the facts to matter. It's about time for us, the American people, to say enough with Trump's dangerous abuses of power and corruption. It's about time for Congress to defend the Constitution. It's about time for President Donald Trump to be impeached and removed. And it's about time for America to get back to building a more perfect union with liberty and justice for all. Thank you.